Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to install Flutter on a Mac OS system environment. For that we will set the system path of Flutter. We will start with the download of Flutter SDK. We want to download Android Studio Code. And last but not least we want to start up our very first project and let it run on Mac OS. All right, so and now without further ado, let's get started. All right, so in order to get started to install Flutter on a macOS, we need a plain macOS installation like we have here. So the first things that we need is a terminal where we can test our Flutter, dot, uh, Flutter and we can see that the command is not executable. On the other hand, we need Git, which is in a clear installation of Mac usually within. So if you are working like me in a newest version of Catalina, it should be no problem. Then we need a browser. In, my, in our case, we will use the Firefox browser where we head to flutter.dev. I will make both of these screens big because we will use that more often. The next thing that we need is a finder of our home environment. And here we will press command shift and dot to see all the invisible files. We will come to that later why we need that. And also here I make that to a list and make that big for our screen. Okay, so now we get started in our flutter.dev. Here we select Mac OS and now we see the system requirements like operating system. We need 2.8 gigabyte of um, disk space and the different tools. To get the right Flutter SDK, we go down here and we see that step one and step two, where we would download the latest stable version of Flutter. But with that, we would also fix our version of Flutter to 1.17.5 in that area or in that case. But we don't want to have that and we want to be able to upgrade our Flutter version right away. So for that, we will use that line here, git clone and then the repository of Flutter. In order to do that, we want to go back to our terminal. Here we will create a new folder in our home folder, which we will call tools. And inside of that folder where we join in, we want now to clone the Flutter project too. So for that, we will execute the line git clone and then the GitHub repository of Flutter. This will now start the download process and installs the Flutter SDK down on our machine. This can take a second, so I will fast forward that for you. Fantastic. So now if we search inside or ls in that file, you see that we have now a Flutter directory. And in this Flutter directory, we have the bin folder. That will be important in a second when we set the system path. So if we go back to our documentation of Flutter, we will see that they just execute export path and uh, append the path to the Flutter repository. The problem with that is that whenever you restart your terminal, you will lose that path configuration. So we want to have that more um, optimized. For that, we can jump into the update your path link that is down here. And here we will find an example how we can set it up for bash and for set shrc. So if you don't know one of these two, if you go to your terminal and you make the show in the um, line above here, you will see set sh or you will see bash, one of the two. If you are in a set sh like I am, you will have to do what is written here. We have to create a file in home, which is called dot s uh, z s h r c. If you have a bash script, you have to do the same, but with bash rc. This is a script that is getting ex executed whenever a terminal is opened up. And what you can see is now we want to export here the Flutter path that we have created with the bin. So how can we do that? We go now back to our terminal into our home directory. And now we touch create a file and we call that zshrc. And if we ls now, you see we don't see that file because it is invisible. The dot in front of it makes the file invisible. So if we switch now to our finder and go to the home directory, we will see that file up here. I will open that up in a text edit. And as you can see, the file is completely empty. So if we go back to our documentation here, we see what we have to execute. Export path and then the path to the directory. So let's go to the zshrc file and create or call that a method. So what happens is now we set a variable called path and call the path to it and add another path inside of it. I know it's a lot of pathing, 
but that will call the path to our git repository. And because we have the finder already open, we will can search inside of tools, flutter bin, and this is our path that we want. How do we get this path? The best and easiest way that we need, uh, that we can work with is the terminal. So we join back into the tools, flutter, and what we can now execute is pwd. And with that, we receive the path right away to this folder. And now we can command uh, C the whole thing and go back to our zshrc file. Here we delete that part and append uh, and put the part behind. Make sure that at the end bin and flutter is just once there. So this is our path, which is our username, and then you will find tools, flutter, bin. We save the file with command S or with file save. Now, if we go back to our console and we make here a clear to clean the console, we cannot execute flutter as you can see, because the command is still not found. For that, we have to restart this terminal. So now I have restarted this terminal. And if we now execute flutter, we can see that immediately the download of the Dart SDK happens right away. That is because the Flutter comes with a bundled Dart SDK, so we don't have to install that separately. After the installation has happened, you will see that the command Flutter that we executed will show us like all the options that we have with the Flutter command. And now what I want to do is executing Flutter Doctor. Flutter Doctor is our universal helper that installs all the downloads that it needs and also shows us if the framework itself has any problems. So whenever you run into a problem with the framework itself, Execute Flutter Doctor to find some solutions for the problem. So you can see that the Android toolchain and Xcode is currently with a problem here and we don't have installed Android Studio. So in order to fix that, we will start by installing Xcode down. We have two options to do that. First is to find a go to developer apple.com slash Xcode slash download to download it or we can go via the App Store, which we will do now. So we open up our App Store and search for Xcode. And here we have the possibility to get Xcode. So this will take a while. And so now, after a successful installation of Xcode, as we can see here on that blue dot, we, we can now execute once more Flutter Doctor. As you can see now, we get that green tick. But be careful. Up here, we will see that we have to also execute, after the installation, sudo Xcode select hyphen hyphen switch with applications Xcode app contents developer, which I will do now. You have to provide your password and after that it has it done. The other thing is we have to call this sudo Xcode build for run first launch. After that, our Flutter doctor should be ready to go and we are able to go to the next step where we install the Android toolchain. Fantastic. So you can see now that there is a problem with the Android toolchain because he cannot find Android SDK. We have two possibilities. One would be to install Android Studio, which we will do in this instance. Or if we don't have that in a custom location, we can set up the Android SDK route to that location in our path environment. In order to install Android Studio, you search in your browser just for Android Studio and there you will find developerandroid.com and you find the download link to Android Studio itself. So I will download that now, read the agreement and download it and save the damage file onto our machine. So three minutes later, we have now downloaded the Android Studio IDE. If we starting that up, it is a DMG file like we know it, right? So it will verify it and inside of macOS, it will open up this window. There we copy the Android Studio over to the applications. Now we can open up Android Studio in our applications. And now we're coming into the Android Studio setup wizard. This will automatically install all the necessary parts for us that we need. I will execute it with Darkula. And as you see, we get the verify settings where all the different parts are installed. And it will show you the SDK folder where you will find your Android SDK. So with that, we will press finish and you can see how the download begins. This will take a while and we will see us in a second. All right, so now the installation is complete by silent installation pass and we can press finish. Now we come to the main menu from Android Studio. But before we now start to implement Flutter, we need to go to the configuration plugins 
So now here in plugins, we have to search for Flutter and now we can install it and press again install because it requires Dart and it will also install the Dart plugin. Now when the Android Studio has restarted, you will see that there is a new bullet point start a new Flutter project and we will use that in a second. Before we start now to work, I would like to go back to our terminal and execute Flutter Doctor once more. Now you will see that we have done now everything correctly, Android Studio is installed and we don't get the error anymore that it is unable to locate the Android SDK. As a next step, we have to allow the Android licenses. So we have to run Flutter Doctor Android licenses. Now it will ask us all the different licenses that Android has and we will accept them all. Obviously, you should read them all. And now, before we are finished with the terminal, let's execute a last time Flutter Doctor. The result of Flutter Doctor shows us now only the VS Code problem that the Flutter extension is not installed. So if you are using VS Code, you can install the Flutter extension down here and that there is no connected device at the moment. Now you can also see that we are currently on channel master. This is not wanted if you want to work on a production ready Flutter app. So you could change that to stable. But for us, because we want to create a macOS desktop application as a starter, we want to go to channel master and we search for Flutter config. Now you see there are a lot of different possibilities, but there are no different settings currently act, uh, there. So what we want to do is we want to enable macOS desktop. So for that, we will execute flutter config hyphen hyphen enable macOS desktop. And if we execute once more flutter config, you will see down here that now enable macOS desktop is true. Should you be on a different branch like flutter master, it could be that there is behind unavailable. For that, you will have to change the channel to master and then it will work. Fantastic. That's it with the terminal. So let's head over back to the Android Studio. Now we can create here our newest Flutter project with Android Studio right away. Or what we also could do is we could execute inside of our terminal and searching for a folder where we want to work. For example, we create a new folder called dev. And now we could execute Flutter create with the project name that we want to have. For example, hello world. Now, as you can see, all the Flutter dependencies getting installed. We write 97 files and Flutter is now ready to go inside of that directory. So as you can see, it allows us to jump right away into Hello World and execute Flutter Run. And because we are on the master channel and we have ex uh, enabled the desktop support, it right away tries to install all the macOS relevant things and start up the macOS um, desktop version of Flutter. Great. So you can see now that inside of the terminal, we executed our first Hello World example, which is always the counter app. And now we can count that up. And if you want to work with Android Studio, you can start your new project here. Select that you want to have a Flutter application, give the project name here, which is in our case, Hello World 2 or better Android Studio. And then we can set the project location. Usually the default project location is Android Studio projects for all the Android Studio project that you have. And make sure that the Flutter SDK path is correct. Now we press next and here you come to the package name. The package name usually contains com example, which is the default one. But if you have a real domain like a website or anything like that, then you can change that here to whatever you have. In our case, miracledesign.de. Now we can press finish and it will automatically install all the things like we did with Flutter Create and makes it possible to start up the Flutter project from Android Studio. So as you see, we get our default boilerplate. This is the code that you want to see. So now we can select up here a device. We could open up the iOS emulator or because we have enabled the macOS desktop support, we can select that one. With the green arrow, you can start up the application which will take a second because it's a new project. So it now needs to download all the uh, dependencies and we'll start up the macOS application in a second. The last thing, I just want to show you quickly the hot reload feature. So if we have, for example, Flutter demo homepage, which is this title here, 
and we change that to something else like hello world and we save it right away here it will be changed so save and changed fantastic so we managed it to download and install the flutter sdk and start up our very first project with that you have now the opportunity to get started in flutter and prototype your first solution let us know down in the comments below if you have created it already successfully or if you found any problems in the meantime else thank you so much for watching hit the like button subscribe to our channel if you are new here and we would like to see you on our live streams thank you for watching and see you the next time